This meant I'm Andy Miller and I'll be preparing for surgery today. Is Kate fit? She had an emergency come up. She's okay. Well, is she cute? Yes, I, I haven't a clue where this little angel doll came from. It was just in my room this morning. I like to think angels are watching over me now, though. Helps to calm me down a little. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Just relax. I can eat with sediment if you need it to help you calm down. You have one of the best surgeons in the world. Dr. Gladden will take good care of you. I know. I'm more worried about me. I don't want my body to reject this kidney. They found a perfect match. The odds are they will take it just fine. It's a miracle. They found a match so quickly. Yes, it sounded to me like it was an answer to prayer. Did you have people praying for you? Just my aunt. She's really the only family I have left. Yes, it is too rare. He's my comfort and my strength. Something I need today, especially. I entered into a relationship with Jesus Christ last year. He died for me and didn't have to. That's something I don't want to forget. Just like this donor is giving their gift of love to me. It doesn't have to. You say you just have your aunt. No brothers or sisters. Well, I do have a sister, but we parted on rather bad terms years ago. I'm really sorry to Yes, it was it was a silly feud on our mother's estate. Linda claimed certain things were hers, and I claimed they were mine. We both had our reasons. Finally, we were just at each other's throats, talking to one another through lawyers, instead of trying to work it out between the two of us. Were you and your sister really close before your mother died? Yes, best friends even. In fact, thinking back, I can't believe the way things happened. Wow, it was over 10 years ago. It was my fault. I was the greedy one. Linda just wanted our mother's things as heirlooms to her bed inside. I just wanted to see what kind of price they would bring. And she knew that, which is why she fought so hard to keep them. I bet she still has everything she won in court. I have almost nothing on one. I didn't get half the price I thought I would for anything. And it doesn't matter even if I had. It wasn't worth losing my sister over. I wish I could tell her that. Angie, can you get a message to Linda if something happens to me in this surgery? And tell her that I love her, and I'm sorry. Why don't you tell her right now? But I don't have time, do I? I have to call and explain about the surgery, and I know she'd want to talk. <laughs> At least I still hope she'll talk to me after everything has happened. There is no time like the present, you know. You have a thing to lose. You don't have to call her. She's here in the hospital. Here? Why? She's your perfect match, Mary. Your aunt told her about your name donor, and she came down right away. She didn't even hesitate. I would assume that he's forgiven you. Oh, Linda. Yes, I would like to see her. Please. After all I put her through, and here she is saving my life. She was always like that. Lord, I thank you for the second chance of life. And I especially thank you for my sister. Please forgive me the unfounded bitterness I held towards her all these years. And help me to be a good Christian witness to her. Through my relationship with you. Linda! I'm so glad I got to see you before surgery. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. You have nothing to be sorry for. I can't believe I acted that way. I, I, I just was horrible. For all those years, and I never called. I shouldn't have let my pride get in the way like that. If anyone was full of pride, it was me. Can you ever forgive me? I already have. Now I just want you to relax. No stress. Just take it easy and I love you too. I love you too, Linda. I'm so glad you're here. Well, everything's almost ready. How are you doing, Jerry? I'm, I'm okay. But I, I would like to see Angie before I go to surgery. I want to thank her for all the advice she gave me. Angie? I'm sorry, I don't know an agent. Is she a patient here? Uh, no, she was my nurse before you came in. Uh, I'm sorry, Jerry, but we don't have a nurse named Angie on staff. Well, she took my vitals and everything, and she came in. When she brought Linda down here, too. No, actually, I was just looking for the nurse's station and took all the time, and then I saw you. You never did see Angie. No, sorry. <laughs> well, uh, would you like anything before surgery? Yes, that's said it in my hand, I smell now. I'll have it sent right in. Oh, 
Yes, I, I think this was an anonymous gift from someone. I just found it in my room. There was no note or tag? No note. I didn't see a tag. Oh, wait a minute. Look, there's something. Your surgery is blessed. Remember that Jesus loves you. God bless. Love. Angie! It's from Angie. Aha! Uh -huh. The proof. She does exist. Well, no. Perhaps. 